Oh, Ellen, um, before we start, could you do me a favour? I dropped my phone under the sofa. Could you just grab it for me? <laughs> for me, under the... No, just go to Irish down there. It's my phone that's down there. Oh, it wasn't my phone. What's that? Not seen that before. I'm so... Look. Did you get this? <sighs> I suppose we better do show the weekend on it now. <laughs> Annoying. I wanted to do something else. <laughs> Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Pokemon official magazine published in the UK by Immediate Media. Not being paid to say that, it just seems fair. I'm so excited about this one, Ellen. Yeah. Um, as usual, it's packed with all sorts of great fun. But in particular, yeah. you can make with this one, John, get ready with your Zoom. Make a Snorlax snack box. Now, Ellen, you've been walking around carrying snacks just in your open hands with them falling between your fingers mm. and you going, ah, my snacks, I can't hold them, and then no, falling on the no. floor and, and groveling in no, the dirt I'm, like a beast. I'm a woman, so that we, we don't have proper pockets in most of our clothing, so we all have bags. Yes. Well, now you have a better bag. Throw away your handbag. <laughs> Throw away all of them. Because we're going to make you a Snorlax, Snorlax snack, snack box. box. And, I've, and if you build it well enough, I've bought some snacks that you can put in it. Wow. I'm very excited about that. That's actually. the kind of generous show of the weekender that I am. <laughs> and as well as that, Ellen, of course, you will win the prizes on the front. Do you just want to tell me what this one's called? Great ball rubber. <laughs> what? It's a great ball rubber. Here it is. I'll, I'll take it a off. A great. The... A great ball rubber. I don't see what all the fuss is about. It's an eraser, right? That's not what it says, John. What does it say? <laughs> it's a great ball rubber. Uh, should we have a look at it? Ah, uh, a bit, a bit come off of it. Oh, I think it all comes apart. Yeah, they're the. the they're oh, it's one of these ones. Yeah, remember they you kind of like assemble. Yeah. They could for they were sort of pointless. I like. don't need to look at this rubber to tell you that it is going to uh, leave a mark. It is going to leave a mark on the paper rather than remove any, yeah. any, any kind. But you know what? It's just for fun. It's the sort of thing that would just sit on your desk. Yeah. Or you just have in your pencil case and it's then it a, would slowly go grey. It's just a great ball rubber. Mm -hmm. It's just a great ball rubber. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, never mind. Well, never mind, Ellen, because there's still some Pokemon cards you can win on the front. Your Snorlax snack box. Yes. Turn to page 35. Okay. What to do? Are you ready to follow instructions carefully? Yeah. Good. Can I put some carefully in it? <laughs> no. Oh. Carefully is not a snack. Cheese is a snack. No, it isn't. I'm the king of snacks. I'm the boss of what is and isn't a snack. <laughs> carefully remove the front and back cover of this magazine. I've done okay. that step for you, Ellen. Do you, want to you. do you want to tell me the next steps? Stick pages 2 and 35 onto thin card and then cut along the solid lines. Well, lucky for you, someone's got a Weetabix uh, box. <laughs> someone had their Weetabix. Yeah, someone. Yeah, I had to eat all this Weetabix this morning. <laughs> yeah. I bought this on the way in and ate them dry on the train. <laughs> all 24. And now I have only <laughs> minutes to live, so we'd better crack on. Oh, do you want some scissors? Yeah. Now, while okay. you're putting your Snorlax snack box together... Can I have Evan, some glue? Can you have some glue? God, moon on a bloody stick, you. <laughs> Got two choices of glue. You oh. can have... Uh, it is children's crafts, so mm -hmm. it would only be fair. I thought about getting yeah. some like proper spray mounts, but we yeah. had to ventilate the studio so we didn't die, and I wasn't prepared to do that. So <laughs> you can have glue stick mm. or in true children's craft style, this old bottle of craft glue that has certainly hardened and gone weird. <laughs> Although I did use it the other week to stick Isabel's head back on. Oh yeah. So um, if you give it a if you give it a squeeze, some might come out. But but there's also Pritt stick. Sorry, let's create glue stick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I've already cut down I've already cut most of it off. It was like this much longer. Be careful. This is why you they should always have an adult to help. They you. don't do this on Blue Peter. No. Well theirs is already done. They're like, here it is. All the dangerous stuff happens off camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do you, can I read oh, you? The, can I read the next? Primary school again. Steps ahead. Can I? Can I stick it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no. You follow. No, you follow. You follow this. Follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You follow the steps. Let's see if this works. Here we go. Okay. I've got a good feeling about that. that sounded good. Mm. Ellen's just doing this on the floor. Ellen's just rubbing the floor. It's like she's doing a brass rubbing. 
on a school trip to a local church or something. I love doing that. <laughs> well, I'm trying to find out what um, someone has written on their pad next to the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Where have they gone? I would love, 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 love to see a TV show or something where someone's trying to find out where someone's gone or like find a lead and they're in their hotel room and they get the notepad and they do that and there's just nothing. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, probably. That makes more sense. I probably wrote it in their phone. Or <laughs> just remembered it. Okay. What's the next step? I've got to cut along the solid lines. While you do that, Ellen, you'll be glad to know that I believe this Pokemon magazine features some more jokes. Brilliant. In fact, it's Toxicroak's jokes. Would you like to guess some more punchlines? Yeah. Okay. How's the cutting going? Not bad. Ooh, that's going very well. Why did Whalmer cross the road? Whalmer, for context, is a whale. To see what was on the other side? That's good, but no. To get to the other... Not tide! So, tide! Hey. To get to the other tide. Very good. Which dessert do Ghastly always order? Ghost. What do you do when you see a Ghastly? Ice cream! There we go. Hey. What does a Sylveon do in the kitchen? Wouldn't like to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem appropriate. Um, Sylveon, for context, is a... Well, viewer, there's a picture of it on screen now. I'm going to try and describe it. Is it not an evolution? It's an evolution. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like got um, tassels on the side. Yeah, it's cute. It's super cute. Well, anyway, it's what do you think it does in the... It's got a good aesthetic. What do you think it does in the kitchen? You're Sylveon. Not get this. Gosh, I, d I don't know. I don't know. They bake fairy cakes. Oh, yeah, because it's a fairy type. Yeah, yeah. Type. yeah. <laughs> what do you call a pile of meow? <laughs> Just a pile of meow. What do you call um, a pile of meow? I, I dog food? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ellen, the answer is a meow tin. Oh, it should be meows, really. I did. Just a pile of meow. <laughs> How does this trainer start a race? And there's a picture of Go. Says, says Go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he shouts, ready, set, go. And finally, where do Mudsdale go when they're sick? It's a um, big horse. Vet. <laughs> the answer is the glue factory. Yeah. <laughs> no, they go to the hospital. Hey. Yay. Okay, how are you doing with the cutting? Getting there. You're doing pretty good. Your next right. uh, crafting side activity is yeah. Mr. Rhyme versus... Oh, wow. Dub... Dubwall. Mr. Rhyme versus Dubwall are going to fight to the death. That's what it says here in the magazine. Wow. It says they're going to fight until one of them is, is broken and, and, and dead. <laughs> Which Galar great would win this battle? The choice is yours. Do you want to know some facts? Yeah, go on. Okay, Mr. Rhyme is an ice psychic type. Height 1.5 meters. <laughs> it's supposed to be like vanilla ice. <laughs> Yeah, vanilla ice psychic. Height 1.5 meters, weight 58.2 kilograms, which I think makes it bigger and heavier than a Charizard. And Dubwall, <laughs> its majestic horns are meant only to impress the opposite gender. They never see use in battle. Bearing all that in mind, who do you think would win between Mr. Rhyme versus Dubwall? I think Dubwall, Mr. Rhyme won't be able to land a blow. It's just wool. With his hands, any fists or attack would just be like... <laughs> by the wool would just... You know. Yeah, and then Double could just wait for Mr. Nine to grow hungry. Yeah. A siege, siege tactics. Yeah, just I get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starve him out. Starve him out, says Ellen. Yeah. I don't know about everyone watching at home, but I'm happy. How's it going? Good, good. Got most of the excess away. You know, it would be really, 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 really good. A proper crafting knife on a board and stuff. That was oh. always really mm. satisfying. Yeah, but I, th I think you should be at least age 12 before you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm at least age 12. <laughs> at least I <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, but are you ever going to turn 12? I already have. Are you ever going to turn 12? <laughs> because that's the point at which you get a crafting knife, I, when yeah, you turn 12. I, I can't. <laughs> I have turned 12. Do what? you have a crafting knife? No. Are you it seems like you school, haven't turned 12. <laughs> Are you going to turn 12? Because you would have a knife if you had. A knife! <laughs> no! That vine is Luke and me. <laughs> right, oh, we're nearly not, there now. Let's not cut my fingers off because then that would be embarrassing. If you cut your fingers off, 
here. Um, can we put that higher in the headline? Yes, can that we, would can be we good call the episode, for um, Ellen Cuts Her Fingers Off. Yeah, yeah, Ellen Cuts Her Own Fingers Off, we read Pokemon magazine. <laughs> <laughs> the thumbnails just be like... Yeah, well there's no thumbnail. <laughs> I don't and, like, have a thumbnail probably, anymore. Probably the actual wound will be like hard to see really little. Yeah. So I'll, I'll add some cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, blood spurts. Of, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just do. Like, you need to do your shots. Get this in freeze frame thumbnail for when face. Ellen's finger comes off, John. <laughs> How was that? It was great. I'll give you options. <laughs> and. What about sarcastic thumbs up? Oh wait, maybe one where I'm holding the scissors to imply to the viewer. It's a bit clickbaity, but to imply to the viewer that, that I'm cutting cut your fingers off. off. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's how it all works. <laughs> See behind the, yeah, just See the, the cogs behind wearing, the scenes, this is how we figure it out. In a way, now it would be a shame if your fingers stayed on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might as well do it for the bit. <laughs> yeah, if you really care about show of the weekend, you'll cut yeah. your fingers off. <laughs> Now, what's your tactic for cutting holes in the middle of cardboard? I have a tactic, and I don't think it's a great one. Let's hear it then. Okay, what I would do... It, no! <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so much trouble. I don't know why, because you are a grown-up. <laughs> what I like to do is just sort of ram one half of the scissors through the hole, just mm -hmm. like punch it, which always dents the paper a little, but from there you can kind of like cut outwards and then around. To, okay. to make your hole. Get a zoom on this, John. This is a, this is a technique I've not seen before. Oh my gosh. It's not really getting through the card, though. They make, like. these, <laughs> they make these Weetabix boxes too strong. Come on, scissors. I just don't want to chop off my fingers. Can I, can I, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got one, I've got one. Can I, can I try one? Okay, okay. okay. Uh, what if we use this as a backstop, mm. we can put it on the floor and we just, and we just push in. Just really mm -hmm. force the scissors through like that. Did it get through work? Hang on. hang on. Hang on. If I use oh, the pointy okay. bit, I think it'll be all right. I hear cardboard going, yeah. Oh I no, that's my bones. <laughs> yeah, I've made a hole. Right. From there you can excavate. <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. Maybe your Snorlax snack box doesn't need to clip together. Maybe it could just be like a flat tray. <laughs> we often get comments from people who say um, things like, Oh, I found it weirdly satisfying to watch two grown adults do a uh, craft activity for children. But I feel like in this one, the comments are going to be that I found it weirdly stressful to watch, <laughs> to watch these two grown adults nearly hurt themselves. <laughs> I'm sure it does say here, get a grown up to help you somewhere. Oh yeah, it does. Train a tip. Ask a grown up for help with cutting and folding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. How many holes left to go? Two. Two holes. <laughs> but it's alright, we've got a technique now. So yeah. Ellen, Ellen folds it slightly, slightly. Try not to crease makes a small it. Cut. It makes an incision. It makes an incision like a surgeon. And then mushes it all up. <laughs> not like a surgeon. So when this all folds up, I'm assuming this is where my fingers have to go. Yeah, it's not, it's they fit perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, don't assume. Don't assume that you know how the Snorlax snack box goes together. This is, you know, a very complicated piece of machinery that you're assembling. Do you mind if I do a bit more prick stick here? Oh on yeah, the, uh, go for it. Running repairs on the um, on the edge. Here we go. If we both work together, we can put this Snorlax snack box together. That's good. Sometimes, like when you I, I meet new people as an adult, and you have to kind of like explain Say to what them what is. your job is. Yeah. I did once have something where I was explaining about how we play. Um, D and D and like talk about video games and they're like, oh, and you you, you make a living from this, do you? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, mate, that's the thin end of the wedge. <laughs> that is amongst the more difficult and serious things we have to do. I don't tell people about this bit. This is our little secret. <laughs> view. I've never been right. in the back of a cab and asked that question and said, Open oh, Pokemon know, magazines. Do you know what Pokemon are? <laughs> <laughs> well. Where's my, okay. where's oh, my the, the you've thrown the things down. Oh no, I throw the instructions away. Okay, so we've done step one and we've done, oh no, we've only done step one. Fold and, and two. two, I'm doing that step now. Step two, fold along all the dotted lines to Folding. make a box. Folding. Do you need any more Pritt stick? I think a little bit on there. Bit more, bit, bit more Pritt stick in here. Tell me when you folded along all the dotted lines. Oh wow, this box is so small. <laughs> 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 it was two whole pages, it looked massive. 
it's gonna hold it's... like a raspberry. <laughs> It's folded. not going to hold all of the oh, trees I've got. Okay. Okay. So you I done? Fo you folded, folded along all folded. the dotted lines. Good. Step three. Stick strip A to the there. inside of the box. <laughs> Let's see how this Where's goes. Where's strip A? Strip A is there. There it is. Okay. So, so put that there. Good, good amount of, good amount of print stick on that, on that bad boy. And that'll go. Perfect. There. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you can reach in the top and bottom just to, so you don't even need to. Um, okay, don't even need to. What we need is a staple gun. Have we got sellotape? I'm surprised they don't, yeah, uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> there must be something in here. How about these pins? <laughs> pins? Yeah, you just stick pins. Where's, where's the extremely close, no, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, just stick it in stick there, in and the then when you put your hands in <laughs> to get your snacks, well, that, you give a blood sample. Yeah, you have to really want the snacks. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh no, there's an official print stick in here. That would have probably would work better. No, sh no shade on. Um, let's create. Okay, binding methods. Have you considered twine? <laughs> We could punch holes in it and you could sew it all together with twine for a kind of rustic. Mm -hmm. It'd be like um mm -hmm. it'd be like a Horizon Zero Dawn. Aloy's <laughs> Snorlax snack box. I'm gonna keep it out. Oh! Okay, this probably isn't a good idea, but I'll tell you what we do have. Oh, okay, Ellen's reaching straight for it. You can't put staples in the snack box. Oh my god, she's doing it. Don't put snaple snaples. <laughs> Viewers I at heard home, it's very nice this time of year. Viewers at home, don't put staples in your snack box. I should stress this is not the official advice. And this is not safe for children. Oh, Snorlax. Oh, this doesn't look like a picture. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Uh, oh, no. Never mind. We've got coloured... There. Oh, that's good. And then this is it's all... It's going to have some sharp metal spiky bits and choking hazards inside. Fold down flap B and then flap C and flap D, making sure their wings are tucked behind flap B. Okay, I need to cut this in because this is not long enough. I really worried uh, when I brought Pokemon Magazine in that this snack box activity would be too easy and that it would only take about two minutes. <laughs> I needn't have been concerned. I'm guessing E. Oh, that's, that looks good. Over there. Oh, that. Is, let's see the bottom. Let's see the bottom. It's all coming oh, together. Perfect. It's all coming together. That's great. Yeah. And that staple really gave you a good fighting chance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. Use the real print stick. That right. looks brilliant. Okay. Are you are you sure you zoomed in enough, John? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't look brilliant from her eyes. So. And then you get like that. Hey! And the snack box is done. It's a little bit more full of staples and bits of sharp, <laughs> so hand scraping, it. choky metal. Lisa, yeah. Show me the staples, Annie. I think that's actually. Quite a neat use of staples, and it's really adding some structural integrity. Entirely disagree. I understand why you did it, mm -hmm. but don't do it at home, viewers. Okay. It looks like he's going. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, these snacks are gross. <laughs> Give me some better snacks, Mum. <laughs> well, now that you've done such a great job of making your snack box yeah. and closing it, open it again, <gasps> and we'll put in some snacks. Shall we see if your Snorlax? This is actually okay. I hadn't intended this to be the test, but having seen how small it is, <laughs> this is the test. Will your snack box sustain the weight of a bag of Percy Pigs, a bag of Colin the Caterpillar faces, and a bag of Rainbow Colin Caterpillars? That's <gasps> wow. right. It's the m and Middle Class Snack mm -hmm. Triathlon. We, we want the Rainbow Colin the Caterpillars first? Uh, yeah. Okay, this is what one of these individual snacks look like, looks oh. like. It's a little rainbow. Is um, it Pride Collins? I think it's Pride Collins. Is, is that what it is? That would be lovely. I'm not seeing <laughs> any. It might just be like right. Yeah, Colin. Think, yeah. I'm not seeing anything about like any money raised or donated, you know, yeah. or profits. You know, is so it, is this like, like that LBLT or whatever the the one that they when they made a sa a sandwich. <laughs> And it was like bacon, lettuce, tomato, and something. They added a G, Rainbow so that it was bread. LGBT. I don't know, but it's gelatin-free. That much we can say. Okay. Okay, ready? You got this close up, John. Okay. It's hold. Wait, there's it's one more. It. 
Is it holding it? Yeah. Just feel the bottom. Yep, we're good. Next. The Colin the Caterpillar mini Colin faces. This is a Colin the Caterpillar mini face. <laughs> it's testing. <laughs> to yeah. ensure that they're real, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want me to check for poison. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. How's it holding? It's holding all right. Good. Finally, the Percy Pig original Ultimate. veggie Percy's. Ultimate test. Ooh. Just a few more Percy's to go. We're nearly there. That's it! Yay! Yay! Ooh. It's bulging, but it's not giving way. It's, it's bulging, but it's holding tight. Yeah. Well done, Ellen. Let's... You've built a structurally sound Snorlax snack box. You fin finally silenced the haters who said you couldn't build a structurally sound <laughs> Snorlax snack box. And Ellen, all those snacks are yours to take away, to take home. fingers don't fully fit. All those <laughs> snacks are yours. Okay, lovely. What a mess we've made. <laughs> we didn't even use, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a solution. Do it back up again. All we need to do. You don't want to double knot here, otherwise you can't open it. <laughs> oh yeah. Very, very true. <laughs> Hang on. Um, no, there's no solution. <laughs> do you like a present? You know, like oh. when you. Oh, that's not enough. You need to. Be so, do we need more twine? Because yeah. I've got more twine, Ellen. <laughs> Amount of twine is not going to hold us back. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the stuff. Yeah, perfect. And now, and now we tie this around your neck. It will. It would it. just. It would just. You can wear it around your neck, and when you're ready to snack, yet again. Twine saves the day. <laughs> there we go, that's good. Are you holding it with one hand? Because if you let go, it would. <laughs> <laughs>